The Toyota Supergenes is a machine that has a very powerful motor inside it. Um, the combination of the motor, which has been designed to punch that needle through layers and layers of denim, and the special patented foot, the gliding foot that comes with this machine, means that all your alterations with denim, your taking up of denim, your mending, your putting patches on of denim, is this machine has been designed to do that. But it will also sew through lightweight of leather, you may need your leather needles for that, It'll sew through the finest of fabrics, so through satins and voils. So although it's a powerful denim machine, this is so much more than just about a pair of jeans. So you've got a mechanical sewing machine with a stitch selection dial right on the front of the machine here. It's a matte black, so it doesn't reflect back to you, but it really means that the stitches stand out so you can see them clearly. We've got straight stitch and zigzag and buttonhole. We've got stitches to mend and to embellish and to decorate. There's some satin stitches as well and blind hemming stitches. And it very securely clunks into place when you turn that dial. The reversing lever is right underneath and that's nice and big so you can actually see it and feel it. On the front of the machine, behind where it says super jeans, if you pull this forward, there's a little reminder or a quick advisor. So if you think, oh, I've, I've forgotten how to thread the machine or I can't remember where the bottom bobbin goes, you've got a help at hand there, just hidden away behind the label. On the top of the machine there is a diagram so if you're not too confident on threading the machine you just follow the lines, take your thread up and down to the front of the machine and you've got a needle threader on the front here. It has a drop-in bobbin so you can see when you're running out of thread and there's a free arm or accessory compartment so when you take this off this is where all of your spare feet are going to be and this is how you can do tubular sewing. Now tubular sewing you will use when you're doing things like taking up jeans. Now with my jeans, I've cut them off to the length that I, I want them and I've folded over the hemline twice so the raw edge is tucked inside so that's going to be nice and neat and I've just pinned across. And the reason I pin across is that when you're sewing, try to take the pins out as you go, but if you do happen to hit a pin with your needle it's less likely to break when it hits it on this angle. So my jeans are inside out, they're folded up, I'm going to slip them underneath the machine, underneath that gliding foot which has an extra high lift presser foot so I can lift it right up over the top of thicker fabrics and then pop that down. And I'm lining this up around about a quarter of an inch from the edge of the seam and I'm just going to use a straight stitch. Now I've tried to pick a colour of thread which is similar to the thread that was already on the machine so it should look very professional. Now this is the clever thing. This unique gliding foot, when it goes over all of these layers of fabric, it, it just scoops up and down and literally, as its name suggests, glides over the top. See, that's not a problem whatsoever. And when you see the stitches, when you take this out the other side, they're tucked nice and neatly inside um, the seams. So just quickly go around the other side. Just try and take those pins out as I go. If it's easier to just hand sew to hold that in place rather than pin, then of course that's an option for you. And all I'm doing is guiding the fabric through. Don't pull it or push it because then you may bend the needle. Now consider here, we have, including the seam, there's two, three, four, five, six layers of denim. Let's see how we do. No problem and you're not stretching the stitches, you're not pulling the fabric, you're getting an absolutely perfect finish. And then just try and line up the stitches from where you started whoops, to where you finish. Turn the hand wheel to make sure the needle's in the up position, pull your thread out and snip that off at the side and when you turn that out, it should look just the same as, if, uh, as when you first bought the jeans. Now the clever thing about this gliding foot, which is unique to Toyota, is this. If I show you on quite a few layers of denim, consider this is a, a jeans leg, and we've got that extra thick, thick seam here, and there's another seam on the other side. I'm actually going to fold that in half and show you how this gliding foot literally glides over the seams. So if I pop this underneath, then we've got that extra high lift presser foot, so pop that over the thicker layers of fabric and then put your foot down. And then watch what happens when we get to that really thick seam. I'll slow down a little bit just so you can see. The foot literally glides up, tucks the stitches in and across the other side.
So when you actually see the stitches, they're tucked into the side of the seam. On most machines, when you try and do this, you'll have a long stitch either side, but this tucks those stitches in. It gives you a very, very secure finish. And to be honest, the amount of layers of denim I'm sewing through here is above and beyond what you would normally be sewing through. But if this machine will cope with this kind of thickness and give such a neat finish, just imagine what it's going to be like on your curtains, on your repairs on your dressmaking, on your lighter weights of fabric, a sturdy, solid machine that will cope with all of those different challenges. So if it is jeans, putting patches on knees, mending splits, replacing zips, you know that you've got the reliability and the confidence in the machine that can quite easily cope with those uh, more difficult tasks, if you like. But there again, if you want to do a little bit of alteration, if you're doing a bit of dressmaking, if you're doing a bit of curtain making, you know that you've got a solid, reliable, super jean sewing machine.